see what this turned out like. Today I'm doing a video that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Make Elon Musk the perfect steak using his not a flamethrower. If you've ever grilled up a steak, you'll know that you want to sear it on the outside. Have it nice and crispy, have that, you know, that nice char mark on the outside, while on the inside, have it nice and tender and juicy. On most barbecues, the way to do this is to put the barbecue on super, super high heat, the highest heat it could possibly go to, 30 seconds to a minute on each side, and then you want to turn down the heat considerably, otherwise the steak will just have the texture of a shoe and put it onto a much lower heat and let it cook out to the proper cooking desire, whether it's being rare, medium rare, medium, and then I'm just not going to go above that. I'm lucky enough to have one of these barbecues that has a searing station where I would put everything on super, super high heat here first and then transport it to the normal system, if you will, the barbecue section. However, today we're gonna do something different, as you might guess. A couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these guys. <laughs> Elon Musk's boring, not a flamethrower. Now, of course, this has very limited uses on a day to day, but I've always wanted to try it. So what I'm gonna do is pretend I don't have a searing station over there and sear a nice steak that I have right here with the flamethrower and then finish it off on the barbecue. So we're gonna put a little bit of spice on top, a little steak mix, a little bit of olive oil on top, just a little bit. Okay, spread that out nice. Oh yeah. Ooh so I kept it simple because steaks are supposed to be simple. I took pieces of a pallet and then I took actually the grill out of my barbecue because I'm going to be transporting this entire piece afterwards into the barbecue itself. Definitely very, very soft and rare on the inside, so definitely need to finish her off. But yeah, seared it nicely on both sides. So let's toss it on the grill. I'm actually cooking this on indirect heat. For all you people that don't know what that means, that means there is no direct heat under here, under the steak itself. All the burners that are on are these two on the side right here. This just causes any chance of it getting overcooked. Highly recommend this type of uh, cooking, especially for a steak, closing her off and letting her cook to perfection. A few moments later. Okay. This should be about ready. Firmness feels about right. Gonna take her off. See what this turned out like. Uh -huh. Perfection. don't have a searing station, use a flamethrower. Oh man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below what you guys wanna see next. And let me know what I should cook up next with that, not a flamethrower. I'm Furious Pete. You guys stay dedicated for life, D4L. And of course, my friends, you 
guys stay sexy. Stay hungry, of course. Get laid. Two.